What's up, Taurus? Welcome to my channel. I hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome Taurus out there are doing well. As you see, you guys, I just literally just shuffle these cards and I'm getting them together now. Okay, so we're about to get into this bucket read. So if anything resonates for you guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And if you're interested in a personal, my information will be in the description box below. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so some of you could be on a twin flame journey, and this reading could be about your divine masculine here, okay? Someone in your energy towards, they want to pursue you. This is someone who wants to come towards you, but they could possibly want to pursue a relationship or something serious with you, okay? Now, this person could want to keep an open line of communication. So in the past, y'all didn't have this open line. This could have been someone who was, it was like pulling teeth, trying to get this person to communicate with you or talk to you. But this is someone who don't want to keep any more secrets and they don't want to tell any more lies. Okay, so this could have been someone, like I said, the lines of communication was not open. It was very much closed, but I feel like it was on this person. You know, they didn't want to open up and they didn't want to talk to you about certain things. You know, this is someone who wants to keep maybe their business to themselves. They didn't want you to know about what they had going on. All right. You can be dealing with someone. The first and last initial is T. You can be dealing with another Taurus or someone who has Taurus placements. All right. For some of y'all, it's been a while since you and this person, you know, you didn't have a little sexual energy here okay so this is someone that's ready to give that thing a good thrash you know okay so it's been a while since you and this person that had sex and shit they ready to give to you okay someone here could be bragging about you to their family and friends okay so you could be doing something maybe you're accomplishing your goals your dreams you know what i'm saying you out here shining like a like a diamond and this person is talking to their family and friends like man my tourists do this my tourists do that like this is someone who i really feel is like adores you you know what I'm saying? They, but they're also proud of you in a sense as well, okay? But this person could have ran from you, okay? So this definitely could have been your masculine if you're on a twin flame journey. This person ran from you and they ran from this connection here. I feel like some of you may be unsure about what the future holds for you or this person or just unsure about things in your life in general here, okay? You could have been dealing with someone who was very detached. Like I said, they were emotionally detached. You know, they were could have been spiritually detached here, okay? And this is why you and this person didn't have this open line of communication. They were not in tune with their feelings and emotions. So I feel like now that this person wants to pursue you, you know, maybe they want to open up and talk about feelings and emotions and things that they did not do in the past here, okay? You could have been dealing with a people pleaser. This is someone who did things to please everybody else but themselves. Here, so this is definitely someone who needed to work on their root shock or how to be safe and secure within themselves and not feel like they have to please other people to feel worthy, okay? Because someone here, I feel like, had an issue with worth. Like, they didn't know their worth. And so, you know, doing things and pe pleasing other people, like, this made this person feel good about themselves. And that's not how that shit go, okay? Now, for some of you guys, this person could be bragging about you to their family and friends because they're having to sit back and watch you become successful. So for some of you, this could be this person's karma for what they did to you in the past. Okay, they're going to have to sit back, baby, and watch you become successful here. So I want to pull on this person. I want to see who is this person that wants to pursue you here okay or who is this person that wants to keep this open line of communication and it's this person that's in love with you but like we said this is someone who is not in tune with their feelings and emotions they're very detached so this is someone who can never express to you like i'm in love with you Taurus. i want to be with you like i can see myself being with you forever like this is something that you will never hear this person so i ain't gonna say you ain't gonna never hear it but you ain't heard this shit okay you haven't heard this person speak those type of words before Right now, they can feel like they're at a crossroads. They don't know if they should fight for this connection or should they move on. 
you know, but they realize in their relationships are a lot of hard work. So someone here could have gotten a relationship and I realized, I'm like, shit, you got to put in a lot of hard work. You know, a relationship is not easy, especially one that you want to be successful or one that you want to work. You know, you got to be willing to compromise. You got to be open-minded. But this is someone who feels like being single is easier. See, they ain't got to put in that work. They ain't got to dedicate their time and put their energy into a relationship. And I feel like for some of you guys, this is what this person's doing. They'd rather really be single. Then to put in their effort into a relationship. So F them. And this is why this is going to be their karma. They're going to have to sit back and watch you become successful tourists because they didn't want to put their effort into this connection with you guys. Okay? This could have been someone who put their career, their work before you. Okay? Maybe they're trying to get out of debt. They got some old bills and stuff they're trying to pay. And maybe they're trying to get their own spot. You know, they're trying to buy a home or have something for themselves. But this is someone that's willing to put in a time and effort now because they don't want to lose you here, okay? So this can be this person that's, that's in love with you, you know, and they want to pursue you. But maybe they have to get their financial situation, you know, taken care of. But I feel like this is someone that still didn't communicate, though. They didn't communicate to you with towards I'm having some financial issues. You know what I'm saying? I, I need to handle this. I need to handle that. And if they did, you know, they didn't make it. I feel like this is someone that just kind of made it seem like it wasn't that big of a deal, but it really was. Okay. All right, you guys. So I'll clarify. Who is this person? Because we also have missing you was causing a mental health crisis, okay? So there is someone in your energy that mentally, they're not doing too good, but it's all because they're missing you. And so I clarified, I want to see who this person is that's missing you. And the first card that came out was this four of swords. And as you see, this woman got her hand on her head like, oh, Lord. So this gives me the energy of someone who possibly lay in their bed. You know, they do a lot of thinking. They could be doing some overthinking. Gets to be a Libra. You know, but I feel like there's a lot of mental anguish behind this. Like, someone here is mentally, like, they're not go doing good mentally. Like, they can have headaches, you know, suffering from anxiety. But this is someone who I feel like needs to rest. Like, they're being called to rest to restore their mind, their body, their soul, and their spirit, especially after maybe trying to get their finances together or, you know, someone who could be at a crossroads trying to figure out exactly what they're needing to do. This is also someone who needs to heal. Okay, they need to focus on self-care. Like, this is someone who does not practice good self-care regimens. You know, they don't eat healthy. They don't exercise. They don't do things to take care of their mental or their body. Okay? This could be also someone that's wanting to take a break from a relationship because they realize, like, relationships are too damn hard. You know, this is someone who just didn't want to put in their effort that it was going to take to be in a relationship. They So they feel like, shit, being single was going to be easier. Okay? This person is suffering from this mental health crisis. We had a five of wands. So this could have been someone who put you in some type of competition, okay? You may have felt like it, you know, that maybe there you was competing for this person's love or maybe this is someone who feels the need to prove themselves to you or you try to prove yourself to this person. I feel like this person that wants your attention, like they're fighting for your attention or you could have been fighting for this person's attention in the past year, okay? But I feel like there were a lot of fights and arguments between you and this person because I feel like you were trying to prove yourself. You were trying to prove that you weren't like these other men or women that possibly this person dealt with in the past and you were something different. But Taurus, that's not your job to prove your worth to anybody. If they don't see that shit or know it, that's on them, okay? But there was a lot of inner conflict going on with this person I feel like a lot of you guys didn't know about. So we have the eight of wands in reverse, okay? So I feel like this is definitely someone who you have not been talking to. You know, it may have been eight days, eight weeks, eight, eight months since you and this person have talked, okay? You experience a lot of miscommunication. But I feel like this is someone who doesn't know how to move forward in this connection, okay? And that's why they're not reaching out. That's why they're not communicating with you, okay? And this is also causing this person some type of mental health crisis because they're not communicating with you. Now, maybe you got this person blocked. Maybe you don't want to talk to them, you know, but there hasn't been a lot of communication between you guys. So we got Sag, we got Leo, and we also got Libra. So let's see who this reading is about for my Taurus. Okay, so we got Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Sag. <laughs> you could be dealing with Aries, Sag, Taurus, Gemini. Dang, same sign. We also got Scorpio, Leo, and Heavy Sag here. 
All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.